What's up, my LS Crazed Amigos? It's your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah, you know we're getting it in with this Trailblazer SS. You know, right now what I did was I just installed the passenger side head and the headers. And, you know, when you install the heads on a on an LS engine, there's 15 bolts. And all the bolts have to be torqued and in degree. And there is a sequence of, you know, how you should torque the bolts down. What we're going to do is we're going to go over there and we're going to discuss the torquing and the degreeing of the bolts. And also, we're also going to have a little chat about installing headers, aftermarket headers. So come on, let's go over and uh, have a chat. With LS heads, there are 15 bolts that bolt the head down to the block. You got 10 M11s and you got 5 M8s. Now the M11, you got to snug them down and then you torque them. That's one pass. And then you do a degree of twist. That's the second pass. Then you do a final degree of twist. And that's the third pass. A degree of twist is at the point where the bolt will start to stretch. These bolts stretch when you get to a certain point. That's why you can only use these bolts once. And most of the bolts on the LSN you can only use once because they do have a degree of twist. All right? Now these, the M8, you just torque them down. At the, after you did all your degree of twist on the on the 10, and you should be golden. Here's the torquing sequence. Now remember, with the M11, you have to do three passes. First pass, 22 foot-pounds of torque. Second pass, 90 degree of twist. And the final pass would be 70 degree of twist. Starting from the center, this is bolt number one. This is bolt number two. This is bolt number three. This is bolt number four. This is bolt number five. This is bolt number six. So here's bolt number seven, go all the way back, that's bolt number eight. That's bolt number nine, and we go all the way back, that's bolt number 10. With the M8 bolts, torque them down to 22 foot pounds, and you're done, only one pass. Now you're ready to install the M8 bolt. All right, so now you're gonna have 11, and you're gonna have 12, and you're gonna have 13, and you're gonna have 14, and finally, number 15. If you're installing headers, now would be a perfect time to do it while the heads are off because in some applications, it's so tight in there where, for me, on the passenger side, what I had to do was I had to put the headers in place while the heads were off of the car. Then install the heads, tighten them down, torque them down, and then install the headers because there was no possible way I can get those headers in while the heads were on the car. So let me show you what I'm talking about. See, I got them in now. There's such a small hole there where you're going to have to move the head to the right, to the left, turn them around sometimes. So these headers would not have gone in if the heads were on the car. All right, so let's take a look at the passenger side. See, I got them roped up right here, you know, so they're in place where once I install the heads, I could just bolt them in. Because had I not had that, if the heads were on here, there's no way I was able to get these headers in because these headers kind of got to kind of twist in and if the heads are in the way there's no way you're going to do it so just keep that in mind when you're thinking well maybe i should get headers you know i'm going to do my heads so now would be the perfect time now remember in some cases you may have to lift the engine up and in some cases the headers just slide right in no problems all right it's the nature of the beast and you gotta get creative all right depending on what your application is all right and always always remember use good bolts use good header gaskets and use good head gaskets for me it's always gm to general that's how it is all right now i'm looking at the clock on the wall or should i say ceiling it's time for me to head on off and get that other side in and throw the lsa on and just finish it up because like i said you know there's no me without you and i want to thank you guys for tuning in and if you have any questions you know how to reach me i'm not a hard brother to find and always always subscribe hit that little button you know that says ding -ling, that little bell hit that because that notifies you when i put another video out all right and i'm enjoying doing these videos and i got a whole lot more videos to hit you with all right so as always please as always be easy, and I'll catch you guys out a little later. Take care.